Hello and welcome to another episode of the OData Screencast series. My name is George Balashi and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can connect to an OData data feed directly from Excel 2010. Before we dive in, first let's just quickly overview our data service we have created in one of the previous episodes. So here is our entity data model that is directly published via a DubCF data service on .NET Framework 4.0. This entity data model connects to the Notion database and I've selected two entities, the categories and the products. These two entities are connected together, which is very important in, in, uh, this, de in this demo, as the products points to categories, every product is categorized into a category. So this model is published with all read permissions, that means that the clients can read the data, but they cannot, cannot modify it. So that's the data feed. And this data feed is available in this URL. When I hit refresh, you can see that fully loads from the server, no magic in it. This is our public URL. Excel will need this URL, so I just copy it and uh, put this URL to the clipboard. What we need uh, is an Excel 2010. Let's just create a new blank workbook. Unfortunately, Excel does not support all data uh, with, with any built-in features, but thankfully, Microsoft has created a free add-on, a free extension. You can download and install it um, to, to Excel 2010. This extension is called Power Pivot, and after you install it, you can see a new tab in the ribbon. You can click on the Power, Power Pivot window that will open a separate dialog, a separate window, where you can configure your uh, data sources. Power Pivot is actually capable to connect to multiple data sources at the same time, download the data from those data sources, and combine them. After it downloaded the data from those servers, from those data sources, Power Pivot uh, provides those data to Excel, so you can manage the, the data with the standard and well-known features in Excel. So, Power Pivot supports OData data feeds, and you can start the import wizard with this button. The first step is to enter the data feed URL, which I've just pasted from the clipboard, then you can click Next. The data feed is absolutely strongly typed and it has a metadata definition, so the wizard is capable to download the schema of the data feed and you can select which entities you would like to download from the server. Click Finish and Power People will download the categories and the products, 8 rows of categories and 77 products. Click Close and you can directly see the data. Here we have uh, categories, entity with all the tanks and the product entity with IDs and names, units, prices and so on. As you can see from the alignment of the data, all columns, all fields are strongly timed. So right alignment means it's a number. Product IDs are numbers. You can see it also here, the data type is whole number. When I click on product name, it shows the data type is text, or when I click on the discontinued column, the data type is true form, so it's Boolean data type. So it's strongly typed, which is uh, very, very practical when you would like to filter or aggregate this data. If we would have a more advanced data source, for example, a SQL server, then uh, power people would be able to recognize that there is a connection between the categories and product entities. Unfortunately, in this first version of Power Pivot, it uh, cannot recognize the connection if the data sources owe data, but fortunately, we can create the relationship manually. So if you said that the products table has a column called category ID that points to a column in the categories table, and the column is named category ID, then you created actually a foreign key-like connection. The magic is that this relationship can exist between two separate data sources. This technique shows 
the, the category ID points to another field in another place in the data source. So here we configured our data sources. We connect it to the audit data field. Let's just close Power Pivot and provide this data to Excel. In Excel, you can just insert a standard pivot table. The only difference, the only minor but very important difference is that here you can work with multiple entities at the same time. So, for example, you can select that you want to group your products uh, by categories, but you can directly reference to the category name. So let's select the category name field from the categories entity and select the product name from the product entities. So we are working with two separate entities at the same time, but this is just a pivot table, so I can reorganize it, I can filter it, I can sort it, I can apply conditional formatting, aggregate it, just the way we are used to do it. So Excel 2010 is a very nice client for, uh, for O data. Unfortunately, it doesn't have built-in support for OData, but you can add a free add-on from Microsoft called PowerPivot that uh, makes Excel 2010 fully OData there. Please choose OData to, to publish, publish your data uh, for your clients. Thanks for watching. See you next time.